What's up everyone, it's Vivi and welcome back. So, what could we potentially be looking at when it comes to the Sly Cooper series? An actual HD remastered collection for the PlayStation 4, Sly 1, 2, 3, and Thieves in Time, Sly Cooper 5, <laughs> You are funny. Or PS2 classics on PS4. If anything, I'm leaning more towards the PS2 trilogy to make its way onto the PS4. I believe option number three is the likely case. But dude, it's just you hoping this happens. So who cares? Just give us facts. You're right, I'm not going over actual concrete written facts, but just think to yourself. Jack and Daxter, a series which, my apologies, it is not my intention to get you guys mad, but it's dead compared to Sly Cooper. We got four PS2 games on PS4, a series which doesn't look like it'll ever get picked up, especially by Naughty Dog. If you want Jack 4 or another Jack and Daxter, we need a new team with a prototype. The whole thing that happened with Sly and Senzaru, they did approach Sony with a prototype, that's how we got Sly 4. Okay, what about Ratchet and Clank? Where's 1, 2, 3, and Deadlocked? Well, 1, which I believe is the least likely case, but I still decided to throw it in, Sony might believe that it already has its audience. The reimagining sold extremely well, do not forget. Sony is confident already that another Ratchet and Clank game will sell, therefore they might not consider PS2 to PS4. Instead of wasting time and resources on, you know, the PS2 games being on PS4, they'd rather focus on a sequel because they know it's gonna sell. Or two, which is the most likely case in my opinion, Sony is simply yet to announce it. Insomnia Games, don't forget, is a second party studio, they're fully independent. They're not owned by Sony. Now, what's the difference between first party, second party, and third party? From my understanding, all right, this might be completely off. First party means the studio is owned by the publisher. Publisher in this case being Sony. Examples of studios owned by Sony, Sucker Punch, and Naughty Dog, since I talk about Jack and Daxter and Sly Cooper. Second party, Insomniac Games. They're not owned by Sony, but they do make Ratchet and Clank for them. Ratchet and Clank is a Sony IP. Third party is none of the above, to put it in simple words. Talking about Insania games, they don't usually handle any kind of ports. They've said this multiple times on their live streams. So Sony right now might be looking for another team to work on these PS2 classics. That could explain why Ratchet and Clank is currently not on PS4. I'm talking about the classic saga. In short, Ratchet and Clank is owned by Sony. They ultimately decide what goes on in the end. Even if a sequel does sell, they might, who knows, consider PS2 classics just for the heck of it. Extra sales, why not? Oh, and uh, mentioning Ratchet and Clank, the PS4 reimagining is currently free if you have a PS Plus subscription for the month of March. So get it and enjoy it. Back to Sly. Sly 1, 2, and 3 were developed by Sucker Punch, a first party studio owned by Sony, right? Sucker Punch is currently busy on their biggest project yet, Ghost of Tsushima. That could maybe explain the lack of Sly. I'm not saying they're the ones who are gonna bring it to the PS4, for the trilogy, at least. Thieves in Time is a PS3 game, and PS3 games currently are not capable of being emulated on the PS4. Sly, Ratchet, and Jack, they're all Sony properties. Why did Sony prioritize Jack? Because Jack is dead. Sounds funny, but... <laughs> What else could it be? They thought, hey, let's bring these titles to the PS4, make a few bucks. I've been talking to Alpha Fox Warfare, remember this user who believed that Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network turned down the Sly Cooper TV show? Well, he believes it was actually Naughty Dog that approached Sony due to forwards compatibility. Now, what is forwards compatibility? It's a PS2 game which is emulated on PS4 and which has the capabilities of running at 4K and support HDR. They took advantage of that. Seeing how Naughty Dog doesn't care about Jack and Daxter anymore? Judging from their old interviews in the past? No longer wanting to work on cartoonish games? I have a hard time believing that it was Naughty Dog that told Sony, hey, release Jack 1, 2, 3, and X on PS4. Probably just me, but that's what I believe. If true, if Naughty Dog did actually speak to Sony without fans demanding it, it's all for the money. What else could it be? Usually fans tell Sony what they want, judging by this tweet from 2015. Now think of this, is Sony waiting for fans to demand Ratchet and Clank to be on the PS4, the uh, classic saga I mean, 1, 2, 3 and Deadlocked? I don't think so, because they know it already sells. So I'm coming back to what I said before, one, either they're trying to invest, focus on a sequel, or two, they're simply looking for a studio, which they haven't found yet. Um, okay, what does this have to do with Sly Cooper exactly? Well, there's the TV show in the works, which we're waiting for news. I know the waiting sucks, but have hope. 
Sony Interactive Entertainment is involved in the project to some extent. And Sly 4, don't forget, has a cliffhanger, so there is material to work with. Sly 4 sold the worst compared to previous titles, that we know. Sony is a bit iffy about that, that's for sure. But the least they could do, seeing as how they're involved in a TV show, is to release the trilogy on PS4. It's cheaper than an actual HD remaster, and by doing so they could test the audience. Why would they say yes to a TV show and no to a simple trilogy being emulated on PS4, if Jack is a dead series? Assuming Sony made the decision to bring it back to the PS4, then Sly has a very high chance of coming to the PS4 as well. Maybe they're waiting for the show to happen, if it's a success they might invest in Sly 5. So the risk they want to take right now, apart from the TV show, is perhaps PS2 classics. At the very least, right? Plus, Senzaru Games right now? I mean, they have their hands on the Sly Cooper series at this point, and Sucker Punch did say it's in good hands. Senzaru Games is busy right now, on a secret project. Not saying it's Sly Cooper related, but maybe that could explain why the trilogy is not on the PS4 yet. Sony is looking for a studio. Let me bring up a quote I found on Reddit by user GamePrime99. Best thing we can do right now is ask Shu Yoshida on Twitter at Yasp to make a new one. The facts I know are that Matt Kramer, lead developer of 4 Thieves in Time, has told me personally on his Facebook time and time again if he wants a new Sly to ask Shu. Sanzaru would love to make Sly 5 and make a new collection for PS4 as well. Whatever this guy is saying, is it true? Yes, I believe this. Matt Kramer has had a fan interview in the past and if you're lucky enough, he might reply if you private message him. While the part about Shuhei Yoshida is 100% true, Matt Kramer has said that himself during E3 20 2015, with the TV show in the works, Sony is hiding something, so I'm thinking the situation is starting to change a little. I'm sure Sony was planning a game to come along with the Sly Cooper movie, just like Ratchet & Clank. Since the Ratchet & Clank movie flopped, they put it on hold maybe, or they cancelled it altogether. Going back to what Alpha Fox Warfare said, if Naughty Dog did approach Sony, and if Senzaru wants to make a collection, then for sure Senzaru has approached Sony about this idea. Nothing's happened so far, so what do you guys think? Please explain to me one thing, if Sly Cooper is dead, if Sony doesn't care about the series, then why would they be involved in a TV show? We don't know to what extent, I highly doubt they're investing completely, but come on, it's a TV show. The least they could do is release the trilogy on PS4. Fans didn't even ask for a TV show. Sure, you could find a Facebook page, an old one actually, by Sly's voice actor, but for sure that wasn't enough to convince Sony. So all I'm going to say is Sony has something in mind, but they're just not ready to announce it yet. Alright, I know there's a bunch of information left and right in this video, so I'll give you a quick summary. Jack and Dexter, a dead series, got emulated on a PS4. Sony perhaps wanted to make a few bucks, not to mention it was top 10 and the top PS Classics downloads in 2017. Ratchet and Clank, Sony would rather spend time and resource on a sequel because they know it's gonna sell. If that's not the case, they're simply waiting for a studio to do so. Sly Cooper, simple, Sony Interactive Entertainment is involved in the production of a TV show, we don't know to what extent, but it's a TV show we're talking about. The least they could do is bring the trilogy to the PS4. Who knows, maybe with the official announcement of the TV show, a trailer, a video of some sort, Sony might announce the trilogy on PS4, and if the show turns out to be a success, they might consider Sly 5. Now that would mean they would rely on the outcomes of the show, which is something I wish does not happen. Keep both separate. TV show is a TV show, and the game is a game. Or let me put it this way when it comes to Sly Cooper. Sony is not too certain about Sly Cooper 5, right? So instead of spending too much money on that project, they'd rather spend money on something less risky, emulating the PS2 games on PS4. And if that turns out successful, you know, a bunch of sales, then Sony might slowly start considering Sly 5. Because a lot of people are saying, hey, I'm sure Sony is going to release Sly 5 if the show turns out to be a success. Just think a little. Think of Ratchet & Clank. Did the movie's failure impact the choice of Sony to, you know, have more Ratchet & Clanks in the future? No, not at all. So with that, when it comes to testing the waters, the audience, Sony's gonna use the whole PS2 Classics thing. You get where I'm going with this? So with that being said, this is it for the video. So as usual, if you have any sorts of questions, leave everything in the comment section below. And as always, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.